Six sets are completed. Finally, work one slip stitch in the first stitch to join this round. Round 5 is done. In round 6, start with one chain stitch, then work a set of 2 single crochets, 1 increase, and 2 single crochets for 6 times. Finally, end with one slip stitch. Work one chain stitch first. Work 2 single crochets. Place a marker in the first single crochet. In the next stitch, also work one single crochet. Two single crochets are finished. In the next stitch, work one increase. We work two single crochets in the same stitch. Then work two single crochets. Two single crochets, one increase, and two single crochets are finished. One set is done. Keep working five more sets. We work two single crochets, one increase, and two single crochets as one set. Now the second set, work two single crochets first. In the next stitch, work one increase. Then two single crochets. The second set is done. Two sets have finished. Please keep working four more sets. We work two single crochets, one increase, and two single crochets as one set. Now six sets are done. Finally, Work one slip stitch in the first stitch to join this round. Round 6 is done. 
Let's distinguish the front and the back side of the fabric. This side with such bumps is the front. Such a V-shape stands for a single crochet. This side with irregular shapes like zigzag is the back of the fabric. Turn the front towards ourselves and continue crocheting. 